That's huge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not exactly huge, but still a memorable moment, and that's what a lot of fishing enthusiasts are striving for on frozen lakes all across the state today. It is Take a Kid Ice Fishing Weekend. Now through Monday, any Minnesota resident who takes along a child 15 or younger can fish for free for the next three days. No license required. Joining me now from out on frozen Lake Nokomis in Minneapolis is Benji Cohn, a volunteer mentor program coordinator with the Minnesota DNR. Good morning, Benji. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having us. It's a beautiful morning out here. It looks gorgeous. And I want to start there because we've been talking a lot about ice conditions and you know this is kind of a weekend where maybe some some newbies some rookies step out and try ice fishing i know you went out there yesterday just to kind of check the ice where you're at talk to us about what you look for how you go about doing those checks yeah it's been kind of a weird year we had that little cold snap and then it got that heavy wet snow so it really pushed the ice down so we got a lot of slush in the ice so i came out with my spud bar walked out and stabbing that in front of me to make sure that the ice was you know, hard enough to support my weight at least. And then I drilled a couple of holes and we got about eight to 10 inches of ice underneath that is pretty good, so. Yeah, so that's good for somebody walking out, stepping out, you know, sitting on a, a bucket or something. This is free uh, Take a Kid Fishing yeah. Weekend, perfect for the long weekend when we know a lot of kids have Monday off of school. But to clarify, kids 15 and younger, they don't need a fishing license any time of the year. So this is a unique opportunity for adults to go along for free, right? Yeah, this is a really cool opportunity because kids 15 under don't need a license, but if an adult comes out this weekend with a kid that's 15 or under, they can fish for free also. So it's a great way to bring your uh, kids out, grandkids, uh, nieces and nephews, uh, neighbor kids. If you like to go out ice fishing and don't have a license, it's a great opportunity to get out and share the ice fishing opportunities with people 15 and younger. Yeah, and explain what we're looking at here. Looks like you've got quite a crowd out there this morning. So later today, we have a great opportunity with uh, Boulder, Oper uh, Boulder Options is coming out and they're doing an ice fishing event, a, a youth and mentor event out here. So it's one of the reasons we came out today to drill some holes and set up some tents before they come out and then provide an uh, opportunity for the news to come out and everybody else to see what we're doing out here. It's a Super cool, it's a great way to get out in the winter and enjoy some of this beautiful weather and some of the ice on our frozen lakes and, and snow. So and just behind us over here is the uh, pond hockey tournament set up for uh, next weekend. So yeah, we're looking busy, forward busy lake. to that as well. Yeah, very busy lake and a beautiful time to do it. Real quick before we go, uh, we have about a minute left, a couple of tips for first timers or what do you tell the kids that are doing this for maybe their very first time? Pa pack some patience because we know that comes along with ice fishing, right? Patience always comes along, yes. So ice fishing is one of those great sports that doesn't take a whole lot. You'll see some of these kids out here with just buckets and a rod, just a cheap short little rod and just come out with a little jig head and a wax worm and you can drop that down there. You want to fish kind of close to the bottom typically. That's where the fish are hiding out. And if you can find some kind of structure, so weeds or rocks or sunken logs, or right now we're on a pier that's out here, we're going to fish by. So if you go to our website, minnesotadnr.gov slash discover, we have a whole bunch of webinars that give you some good tips on ice fishing, and our learn to fish pages are also a good place to look for if you're targeting a specific species of fish too. So, Yeah, very good resource for people looking to get out and explore one of the, the simple pleasures of a Minnesota winter. All right, Benji Cohn with the DNR, thank you so much. Have a wonderful time out there today and good luck. We want to see a photo of a, a fish you catch uh, sent to us. I hope you enjoyed us catching some fish live a little later. Oh, that'd be good. All right, thanks Benji.